Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Times Crime. So for today's case, we will be discussing the case everyone is raving about on TikTok that cancel sleepovers. Because the person you trust with your kids may be the very person that hurts your kids. This is the case of David and Christina Constance. So a woman named Kimberly let her friend Christina move in with her. A month later, Kimberly finds a note from her son, but the note is to Christina, her friend that's living with her. So that's strange, right? Like, why is my son writing my friend a letter and what could it possibly be about? So the letter says, Dear Christina, your husband says me and you can sleep together and your husband wants to know when. So Kimberly is angry and she confronts Christina about this letter like, girl, you better start talking before you homeless. Christina tells her, my husband has been forcing me to sleep with minors and that's why I asked to come and live with you. Now, I want to make a disclaimer that this channel is for adults 25 years and up and if you are a minor, you are not allowed on my channel. You should be on a kid appropriate app. This is very graphic information and a minor should not consume true crime content anyways. So back to what I was saying. Christina, 29 years old, went to the police station and told a detective that her husband, David, forced her to sleep with her 16-year-old nephew, then proceeds to say, he also performed oral on my seven-year-old son, then forced me to do the same. So they wanted more information and wanted to start by knowing their history as a couple, as husband and wife, how did they met? Christina says they met when she was nine years old and he was actually dating her older sister. He was 18 years old and he sexually abused her, but at nine years old, and by the time I, they was 15 years old, by the time she was 15 years old, she thought it was love, and they actually ran away together in 1991. And he went to juvenile for it, but Christina's family, for some reason, dropped the charges. They ended up getting married, and that's when David started using his wife, Christina, as bait to lure in children. She says there was over 20 victims spread throughout Louisiana of minors, but investigators, they only got a chance to interview 13 of them. Um, and the one that was the worst was their own son, who is now in the fourth grade and living with his aunt and was brave enough to tell the police every gruesome detail that his own parents did to him. He also told the police with tears in his eyes that David would make him pick up the cigarette butts from the backyard at dinner time and when he was finally done, there was never any food left for him. So he would go to bed hungry. Poor baby, my heart really goes out to this innocent child. Like when the police told the aunt this, she started crying and she's like, well, that explains why I keep finding food under his bed. Like he's just making sure he has enough food left for him. So after more investigation, interviewing more minors, Police learned that David had a method to his madness and was very much calculated. He made sure all of the victims were from a poor family and offered them meals. He offered them candy, fun activities, and presented himself like a good friend of the family that's always giving a helping hand. And just, he, he was labeled as the fun uncle and would make the parents very comfortable trusting him around their children that they didn't mind if the kids went and spent the night at his house because that's one less meal that they have to make because they were poor. And so he had all these children conditioned to keep it a secret, which is why Kimberly, the friend that Christina moved in with, which is why Kimberly's son wrote Christina a note trying to be discreet so his mom, Christina, wouldn't find out. And Christina's 16-year-old nephew said the same thing. He would offer his wife, David would offer his wife, Christina, to him. And of course, the first thing a minor is going to say is like, no. But David proceeds to vex him, call him names, in particular, a pussy, clowning his nephew, accusing him of being scary. So the nephew was like, I, I want to go to the restroom. He tried to jump out of a window, but they lived in a, tra a trailer, so it was like too small. So when he came out of the bathroom, um, David made him take his clothes off to have a threesome with uh, him and his wife Christina. Now I'm not going to go through each victim because it's the exact same story with every single victim and no. They did this to a set of siblings, girls, boys, and anyone they met with children. Easy life sentence, right? No. 
After 25 years of these disgusting events that went on, they never got caught. Uh, they wanted to drop all the charges and it's as if they felt like they didn't have enough time or something. Like they didn't want to go through, um, I'm talking about during court. During court, they didn't want to go through all the victims. Um, they was like, we're going to bring the charges down from uh, um, aggravated rape to sexual battery. And the investigators that interviewed all these kids was like, no, like, I, I'm the one that interviewed all these children. They cried during this. This man is going to pay something. So once the investigators testified and presented all this evidence and tried to go into detail about as many victims as he had time for, David got four counts of aggravated rape and it took the jury less than 35 minutes. The jury found David guilty on all four counts of life without parole. He got life without parole and Christina got 20 years. So let me ask y'all, do y'all think that's fair considering she's a victim too? Due to the fact that she met David when she was nine years old and he groomed her. Um, I would say the lesson for her is she now has to do 20 years for not leaving David fast enough, like if anything, you know? Cause I just feel like the older you get, your children come first, you know, you know right from wrong and you do anything to protect your child. So this is the case that has made TikTok mothers cancel all sleepovers and I am in agreement. I am in agreement. Um, always remember that your child is a product of their environment. Do not take that job if it doesn't meet your child's schedule always protect your children their future depends on their childhood experience always remember that if you like to see more children cases click right here if you like to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss another true crime then click right here i love you and i will see you in the next episode of jazzy times crime